viewers, hello. I know you're expecting an intro. Don't worry, they haven't stopped forever. They'll be back tomorrow and for the foreseeable future. But we are six episodes in to Thames right now. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a little bit overwhelmed by the reaction to the series. I took a risk doing something completely different at the start of every video. And you seem to really like it. So really, this is just a thank you to you people. I, I like We've had quite a lot of new people arrive as well. And that'll bring me on to my next point. But... It's great to see you get on board with something different, and thank you so much for supporting it. Of course, you've seen me do sort of little intros at the start before, but this is a slightly, for me at least, it's a slightly higher level of intro. So hopefully you're enjoying it still, and uh, you'll enjoy it for the rest of the series. They're not stopping, I just know that more people watch the start of the video than the end, so I'm mentioning it now at the very start. Uh, and also, if you are new, or if you've been watching for a while, let me know. I'd like to do this once a series, really. Uh, in the comments section, let me know when did you start watching, how did you find the videos, and uh, what would you like to see more of? I think there's a good question as well. So, that's going to bring us to the end of the intro. This, I mean, it's still technically an intro, isn't it? Apart from the fact we've not had... Back to you in the studio. There he is. Never mind. Run the intro. Run the actual intro. The, 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 you know. Oh, God. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. 49,554 pounds. That's not good. That graph doesn't make it look too bad. That graph makes it look pretty bad, doesn't it? Oh dear. A few of you might be wondering, where's all the money going? Where is the, where's all the money going? I don't want to look specifically at the staff wages column, but I will draw your attention to the player wages column and then slowly move up to the staff wages column. It's not great, is it? And it's not like we're going to start making money every month. Um... Yeah, it's that. Like, that's not going to happen. Like last month, we made £107 from gate receipts. £107. So, oh, 57 quid from merchandising. I don't know what they're buying, but okay. So, viewers, since we last met, form has turned around in a sort of time. I mean, there's there's some wins. So, we last played Chipstead, and that was where we lost 3-1. Tommy Bird just getting a goal, but it was all over. Uh, they then played Greenwich, Lewis, and Hythe, and eventually turned it around. Greenwich was a 3-1 a defeat, a 4-2 defeat to Lewis, which is never good, but then a 4-3 win at long last. We nearly threw it away, though. They were getting back into the game slowly but surely, and then uh, Mohamed Summer gets the goal, 75th minute, gives us the win, a very much needed win, and we've, we've finally got a system that I think works, and we'll, we'll come to that in just a moment. We then played Faversham, who, um, well... That was comfortable. Ramsgate was a 2-2. Bradley Comfrey, the defender, and Jake Gibson, the left winger, getting the goal. We can see the 93rd minute and the first minute, and you're noticing it, aren't you? You're noticing that, aren't you? We'll look at it, shall we? Andy Tannoy in the rain. Chance to be a hero. Missed. But luckily for us, Corinthian Casuals came up next, and Dominic Taylor, Andy Tannoy scored a penalty, and Jake Gibson on the score sheet again. They went down to 10 men, made the game a lot easier for us. We scored three goals after their red card as well. Lots of bookings for them. They were, they were a violent bunch. And then finally, most recently, a 2-2 draw against Sittingbourne. Uh, we scored very early. They equalised very early as well. They scored the 28th. We got a 54th minute equaliser, and the game finished 0-0. And we picked up a couple of injuries. And that brings us to personnel. We've brought some players in since we last met. Oh, by the way, the reason we didn't do those two games is because uh, with sitting one and the casuals, there was then a two-week gap. So I figured what we'd do is play Guernsey, who we've not played yet, and Carl Shulton uh, as well instead. So that's who we're playing today. Now, in terms of personnel, uh, Taggio has gone out. He's left. I don't know if you even knew he was here. And Johnny Williams, left-sided player, you might remember, he's gone as well. P players just wanted, apparently. That has meant then we've had to bring some players in. Since the arrival of Andy Tannoy, uh, there's probably a couple of names that you, you do and don't recognise. Colin, uh, now, mm, Eilis... I think. Colin Eilis, on loan from Chippingham, good finishing, composure's an issue, as is concentration, but good mentals, decent physicals, got a bit of pace about him, will hopefully feature at some point. So far, one goal in three games, can't complain. Charisma at Bon Lahore. Yes, it's the brother of Gabriel Bon Lahore. Yes, he's really called Charisma. Amazing. Uh, Evans Kunasi, who I think I had at Salford, maybe, maybe not, but he's good. Quick winger, can't really cross, can't really cross, can't really dribble, but quick winger. That's that's the only bit you need to know. Lee Hendry assigned. That's right. You might recognise Lee Hendry, former Premier League player, then Championship, then League One, then League Two, then went to Indonesia for a bit, then came back, then Vanarama National, and he's been around a bit. It's fair to say he's ended up at Thames. So far, two appearances, not particularly good appearances. Uh, Dan McAteer is in at left back. We need a new one, really. He's good at tackling. He's pacey. He's okay at marking. 
And that's all you really need in this division. I hope he's slightly better than John Khan. Slightly better. And then finally, a new goalkeeper, Kaval Patel, uh, has come in as well. 10 handling, 12 reflexes. He's, a st he's Again, he's much like the John Khan left-back situation. He's slightly better than our current goalkeeper. Six foot five. Uh, hopefully, he'll be really good for me. And with a formation change, our team now looks like this. Now, Patel is not a sweeper keeper. So, he's a, he's a regular goalkeeper, which is nice to see. Uh, we've got Campbell at right back. Now, I'm a bit worried about Campbell. There's a bit of interest in him recently. And if he goes... We are in all sorts of bother. I can't offer him my contract, so he, he probably will go. Comfrey and Dakar at the back. Uh, I can see there too. It doesn't look really strong, but it's strong enough. Then you've got Tannoy and Milbourne in the centre. Millington on the one side. Uh, Gibson on the other. Barker in behind. Taylor, who's back from injury. Dominic Taylor was out for a little bit. He's now returned. Struggling a little bit. Um, and lots of options now on the bench to bring on if needs be. Shaquille Edwards, a good midfielder. We've got a Bonlahor and at least in, in, up, up top as well, as well as Summer as well. Um, options. You'll notice, though, not too many players with a seven point something average rating only our new left backs got it so not ideal but without any further ado let's get into our first game then charles is it carl carl shelton carl shelton carl shelton carl shelton Car Shelton, Car Shelton. That's what it looks like, anyway. So we'll go with it. So the reason we're going with Dennis Millington is we've got an injury to Kanasi, who hopefully or Kwasi, who hopefully will be back at some point. He's got a concussion, so we should see him in the next game. And he's a bit quicker and a bit more direct, and that's what we're looking for. We're going with this formation now. Then uh, they're playing a four-three-one-two formation. And I think that favours what we're playing here. Right, then, we currently sit 14th in the league table. We're very much mid-table. 35 points for us, you can see there. We can move up with a win today, maybe, if goal difference goes our way. Equally, we could drop down, and that's not good. We're very much a mid-table side, which is actually how the club was built. So the fact that's where we are kind of is testament to the fact that we are very middling in this kind of division. I do, though, think that this formation uh, proves to be slightly more, well, slightly more appealing as... Bear that, with that thought a moment, won't you, as the uh, goal, the goal goes in for them. That's 1-0 to them. Now, they are ahead of us in the league, and the teams above us are now firmly above us. This playoff dream, not this season, so forget it. Currently 1-0 down. They've got a corner, and currently 2-0 down. We are 23 minutes in. Well, I never. We've been playing some of the worst teams recently and doing all right we had some good results actually against a couple of other the big i say big boys i mean the teams like here ish corinthian casuals for example but um uh, no what's they're forward again here folks I, I don't want to start panicking but this could get ugly very quickly they're passing it around like they're the best team in the division i don't know what's going on ball played into the back post right our midfield clearly getting overrun so we'll bring milbourne back a touch not seen us have the ball yet viewers so we'll just there's an injury. Lee Hendry to come on on that right side. Is that wise? I think Summer playing out there. Actually, no, we'll play Taylor there, but he's played there before. Taylor on the right. Summer can come in through the middle. I don't think that's going to make things much better. I mean, do we go to the counter attack at this point? We are getting absolutely peppered as they're... Uh, for another header. Another headed goal, maybe. No, we're back to defend at last. And, well, we've got the ball away. Here we go. Maybe a chance, finally. Taylor on this right side. Into Barker. I mean, fused by this. Millbourne. You've got, you've got options. Summer's there. Finds him nicely. And now it's off to this left-hand side where Gibson. He's got a good left foot and he plays it for... Jelly's got it for them. Uh, forward it goes. Knocked down. And Barker back on it. So, so far, it's been not, not a, a clean affair in terms of... Uh, possession kept but Milbourne's doing a, quite a good job here Tannoy the through ball to Taylor oh there we go Andy Tannoy showing his creative uh, elements to his game and he, and he just floats the ball forward we'll see this again Milbourne finds his midfield partner and then it's all about Andy Tannoy who's a little chipped ball through to Taylor breaks the line to the defense and there we are one goal to us three goals to them which I'll admit now isn't isn't it's still not good is it it's just nice to be involved all right my assistant's gone in there he's giving the initial team talk we'll uh we'll give the passionate and um, there's a lot more to come from you they like they seem okay with that we're not playing that badly i mean we are losing but we've had more possession they're not massively dominating the game they've just taken their chances as uh corners floated in and they've hit the crossbar they're pretty dominant at what point do we see lee hendry probably not today although bark is not having a good game as we're forward on this left hand side bark if you can let off the mill board back to the point i'll tell you what how's that not got in oh, that looks like a certain goal they're playing really well they've got quite a lot of people on seven something so that's a worry um do you, do you bring on Dean Thorne or Lee Hendry? Lee Hendry's decent, but he can't run. That is one of the issues. Right, Hendry's on. He can play in that position. He's okay there. As I say, he can't run, but he can be the pivot if you can get the ball into him so he can actually do stuff with it. So This is not going to plan, really. We're going to bring Doherty on. We're going to switch him and Tannoy around uh, and just change their role slightly. So we're going to put him on as a support and Tannoy up there as a, as a defensive version. Come on, midfield. Do something. Lee Hendry floats the ball in. Andy Tannoy! Oh, my God. That would have been unbelievable. And with 10 seconds to go, it's not looking 
like we're going to win this game, which is a shame. kwasi has been pretty good for us recently, so the fact he's injured, I do think it's caused us a problem. We'll be back for the next game. We'll say we're fair in that one. I think this is this is an unfair representation of how good we are, because, well, no, it's not really. We've lost to a better team again. I've said I can't fault any of their performances. They've done well. They Look, Guernsey coming up. They're second, though, so that's... Well, here we are then. They're about, they're about 30 points better than us. That's that's the realisation I'm coming to. 30 points better than us. All right, moving on to Guernsey then. If any other transfer stuff happens, I'll let you know. It's unlikely at this point. Gareth Seddon is available. Um, no, he's not. Right, second game of the day. And we're trying a few things with the uh, with the system. I'm, I'm currently retaining possession and passing into space. The idea of that is that we keep the ball in the deeper areas and then as soon as we get the option to play it out wide, then at that point we can pass it into space. It's not really working. I think we have to do one or the other. So we're going to get off the same possession um, and just see if it works any better. Maybe not stick to positions either. That's just just the two then. Dribble less, pass more into space. I feel like every time we dribble it, we get tackled. So I'm dribbling less. And Milbourne to play a slightly deeper. We could play two. Uh, yeah, we'll try that. A bit more protection in front of the back line. We'll try that. A lot of people have been saying change your fullbacks to automatic. They just don't like it very much. I mean, go on then. It's, your, it's your, on your head. Barry and Jacob can't believe what's happened. This new guy's coming. He started and, well, continued three. Right, come on then, boys. We've, we've ditched the diamond in hope of better things. This this team are second. Is their top striker any good? He's not bad. He's, he's well-rounded and we don't have any players that are well-rounded. He's not great and he plays for them. Craig Young, you're average, mate. You're average. Morton, he's from Bristol City. Our loan players from Chippenham and Boston United. Bristol City. Well, there we go then. This is uh, this is the, this is the moment now. Can we do anything against the very hotly rated or highly rated Guernsey side? You can see the race for the top six is very big. Well, the, top, the top five positions get into the playoffs, but the top six are very closely congested. And um, it's going to be us to put a bump in the in the Guernsey road. But as we've seen so far this season, folks, against better sides, we collapse. So let's see if that's the case today. As uh, the ball's put forward towards Taylor, quite direct, but not a bad option. And then it's launched back the other way. Confrey gets there, but now they, here they go. Danger. And, well, I don't know if Patel knows it's gone in. He's kicked it out. Ah, uh, apparently the goal was offside as well, so I don't know what to think. So we're looking at it in three dimensions. Uh, we get the header away to begin with. Not too bad, although he's now got an injury to himself. Uh, Young plays it forward. I think he was on. I think he's on as well. And then... Uh, oh, dear. Right, we've got... We've, we've, we kind of had it. For, for a moment there, you didn't quite see it, but we did have the ball as uh, Nurse is tackled by Campbell. And there we go. Kwasi now. He's got the pace to burn. Can he Can he break forward and, and hurt Guernsey today? Taylor. Back into Barker, who we see so little... Mm. It's a shame, and now, and now, he says, Patel makes a save, good. So far, what we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of Guernsey attacks, and their forward line breaking very quickly. We're going to drop slightly deeper, because at the moment, we're getting absolutely battered. All right, so we're going we're gonna to drop deeper. We're going to close down a little more, and we're going to be a little more disciplined as well. System-wise, we're going to stay the same, though. Keep keep it, keep on keeping on. Right, here we are. Chance, maybe. McAteer, into Millbourne, into Gibson, and we're working this nightly, nicely. Barker, come on, find a pass. There we are. Gibson, left side, back into Barker. And here we go now. Andy Tannoy on the ball, causing mayhem. Taylor, out to the right-hand side. Can we get a delivery into the centre? We can! Taylor at the front post, and it's 1-1. 28 minutes gone. First shot on target. They'll be Whoever's doing this video will be furious for Guernsey, because they're getting beaten. Uh, but beaten by the, the laws of the game. Ball played it. I don't know what I'm saying. Kwasi whips the ball in, though. I'll tell you, he's a difference maker, and Taylor's there. He's just got that extra bit of pace that you need. Oh, I love it. How many away fans have we taken today? I can't imagine it's many. This is the highlight after the goal. So, if they score, we'll just cut straight to that bit. There it is. Well, we had him for a minute there. For a, for just one minute, we, we had him on the ropes. And then it was just... Nurse played it back, deflected into the path of him. He laid it off to an unmarked man. And goal. Free kick to Guernsey now. Played in. Cleared again. Comfrey wins a lot of headers. You've got to say Nurse. Back in again. And, well, Dixon's got to do better. Forward again here. Nurse on that side causing all sorts of problems. Good save by the goalkeeper. But Patel can't keep out the second one. And Guernsey, as it said there, are rampant. Next episode, we're playing easier teams. I've picked two of the top six here. Right. Um. Well, it's not been good, has it? Second half, we I'm, we're going to keep as we are. Uh, now we'll take uh, we'll take Barker off two up top. Why not? I mean, we've got got little hope of getting anything from this game. Elise is on. We're gonna we're gonna call him Elise. Uh, is he, what's his first name? Colin. We'll call him Colin. Oh, great, brilliant. That quite injured. So Gray comes on. Good. On he comes. He loves defending. I wish he was good at it. Interestingly, two players got injured at the exact t same time. I assume there was a clash of sorts. But anyway, we carry on as uh, he's put forward. 
We've got, we've got, it's Red Saviors. We've gone slightly more attacking now, which which could be seen as a risk as Nurse pulls it back again. Wild puts it in, and the crowd go, "Yeah, you guessed it, Wild." There's actually quite a lot of them in the in the stadium. There's loads of them. We're four one down now after an hour. Counter attack, maybe. <laughs> Against these sides that are just so much better than me, I don't really know what to do. Tanoi corner whipped in. Confrey Gray. Oh no. Tanoi again corner played in. Confrey's there. Andy Tano's corners are mesmeric. I mean, the problem is he's, he's only really good at the set pieces. McAteer, forward towards Taylor. No, no, not for, no. It's them going forward, actually, turns out. Nurse takes him on, ball to the back post. This is getting ridiculous. Lower league experts. Help. I mean, we're 12 points off the bottom. So we're, we're like off the relegation zone. So in that regard, we're absolutely fine. I just, I just don't know what the solution here is. Okay, come on. Create maybe. Campbell, drive forward with it. You've turned around again, Andy. Kawase, here we go. Play back. Gibson, 4-2, 5-2. Bollocks. 5-2. It's never scored so many. I'm losing count here. But you see, Campbell. He's to be fair, Campbell, this right side, he's good. And then Andy Tano, again, puts a wonderful ball through. Kawase's there. Lays it back. Gibson at the back post with the finish. Good. 5-2 now. So, I don't think the comeback's on, specifically, but... At least we've got a goal. I think midfield balance might be the problem. I don't mean the positional. I mean they might they keep falling over. Is it going to be is it going to be six or five three? That's the question. Taylor doesn't quite get on it. Lane Young cleared again. Taylor's there. This this formation is actually working out somewhat better. Kwasi on this side, lovely ball to Taylor. If he could pull it back for his man there, he get well. He well that's bizarre. Taylor scores five three. Is there time? Karasu, though, puts it forward. Taylor's on it like a shot. And uh, his first shot doesn't quite go in. Does it just hit him and go in? No, he, he manages to strike it. There we are. Maybe this is the formation, then. The, the, the triple two, as it's famously known. Um, not good, though, is it? Not a good not a good situation for us to be in. Although, actually, considering we've scored three away to Guernsey, that's not too bad. But you see, we're not too far off the top half as they do score again. We are further away actually in fairness all right we're further away from the relegation zone than we are the top half so it's not over yet i just think we need better players the problem is we can't really attract them because nobody really knows who we are and that brings us to the end then it's not a good result it's five three um my assistant's done really well there so that's good no you can't too fair you can't fault the effort they're a much better side now let's find some easier games and bring that to your next episode right walton casuals sure i'm not sure oh, we didn't plan for ages East Grinstead. Oh, we play them really soon. Them and Orsham. Right, I think the next games we bring you are South Park and Phoenix Sports. It's March, so it's a little way from now. It's two months from now, but we've got a run of games there which are going to be pretty up and down. South Park and Phoenix Sports, though, at this stage, are the two sides that are right above us. So we'll see where they are when we come to play them. If it's working out that we've got some other rivals close to us, maybe maybe the likes of Horsham and Mosley, we'll play them instead. Um, but that's going to bring us to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, do drop a like on it. Thank you for your support recently. Uh, let's, let's go for a thousand likes again. We're smashing it every day, folks. So you can do it again. And we love with care from me, Dr. Benji FM. Remember what I said at the start. Leave comments about when you started watching, what you'd like to see in the future, and uh, when you still, you know, just other stuff. Other stuff, maybe. But maybe about yourself. Where are you from? What do you do? And finally, as we wrap up the video, Samuel Sage, thank you. You were actually on the yesterday's video poster. The poster? We could get a poster. And Michael T, thank you so much for your uh, pledge as well on Patreon. Thank you, folks, for supporting over there. And uh, you'll be hearing from me on Patreon very soon.